Hey guys, did you know that you can re-upload videos that receive a copyright? Or did you know how to remove music when you do in fact have music in the background and you don't want to get a copyright? Let's begin. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tony Fergie. I want to thank all my subscribers. The old ones, the new ones, the ones that just keeps coming back because you love what you hear. In this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how to prevent copyright. Or if you're a new YouTuber and you've gotten copyright, how to save your video, upload it without the music. Now, you have to learn from experience. Of course, I'm new to YouTube and when you just begin YouTube, you're just uploading videos. You're not thinking about, oh, maybe I want to do this, you know, not as fun, but as a career or as a way of making some extra funds. But of course, here you are and you're now a YouTube partner and now they start monetizing your videos. So before you know it, your 4,000 hours of view time, depending on what video is copyright, those hours is going down. So of course, if you have any videos, any videos, don't think about what you're gonna do later. Think about now. You're enjoying these videos and you're saying to yourself, okay, these videos are great and you have a lot of view times. Be careful. Because of course, what you don't think is copyright, it is. If you don't own the music in the background, it will be copyright. Now, of course, what you have to remember is, say for example, you have a video, your first video that you've uploaded two years ago, never thought about it. And another year ago, you upload another video. Those videos are like 100K, you know, of watch hours. And you're like, okay, that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put them together and six months later you have, or six months ago, you uploaded another video that got you like 17 hours of watch time. And then you decide, okay, I'm gonna start uploading videos now, I'm gonna start doing um, YouTube and get partnership and get monetized. And you're saying to yourself, okay, it's less than a year because of course the requirement is you having um, 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours so here you are now and you're saying to yourself i have 17 hours of watch time because i have a video that i have that people are watching over and over but it had music look closely i had to delete about five videos last night because they were old videos that i put on not realizing they were copyright the copyright didn't hit me until after I get monetized. After I became a partner. It didn't matter before. But now that you've requested to be monetized, oh, you're going to get monetized. Let me walk you guys through what to do, how to do it, and how to prevent this from happening. Let's go. Hey guys, so the first thing you want to do is make sure you have YouTube Studio. You're going to go through the videos that are copyright. Look through all of your videos. The one that is copyright, you're going to select it by choosing those three little dots on the right. Once you choose that, you're going to go ahead and click to download or save your video to your device. It's going to take you a few minutes just to get it to your device. You're going to go ahead and save it to your device. Once you save it to your device, you're going to go back out, go to your gallery, choose the video to make sure that it is downloaded and the full video is downloaded. Once you know that it's fully downloaded, you're going to go over to your TikTok account. Once you verify that everything is there, the video is fully downloaded, go over to TikTok. You're going to click on your TikTok account and then you're going to do like you're uploading a new video. Select that video that you just downloaded from YouTube. Once you select that video, it's going to ask you to change this, the music or increase. 
decrease the music, decrease the music. You know that, okay, fine, I don't like this music. You can change the music to make sure it's a music that is approved by YouTube. Or you can take the music out altogether. So I'm going to show you guys how to take the music out altogether and voice record over the actual video like I'm doing now just to walk you guys through. So you're going to go ahead, you're going to select it, you're going to save the video to your device once you're done. But first you want to make sure that is uploaded fully 100%. Go ahead, save it to your device. Once it is fully saved, you're gonna go back to your gallery to make sure the video is fully downloaded. You're then gonna come out, all the sounds are out. Go to iMovie, this is for people that have iPhones. Go to your iMovie, upload it into the iMovie. You're gonna select, you're gonna go out and you're gonna add the voice recording you're going to select voice recording that plus sign hit voice recording once you hit voice recording you're going to go right ahead and you're going to hit record and just record over the sounds that you did not like or was not approved or you can just hit record and say whatever it is that you want as i'm doing right now and then voila you will have yourself a brand spanking new video okay guys i just want to say i hope this helped you guys I hope this empower you. I hope you do what I say and not what I did. And know that Tony loves and appreciates you guys. If you are not subscribed yet, why aren't you? I got gold and goodies I'm sharing. Anyways, y'all have a fantabulous day and know that Tony loves and appreciates y'all.